Hi friends! Today we're going to talk about how to make friends on YouTube and some social media etiquette. There are a couple of events coming up. This weekend is the 36-hour Worldwide Write-A-Thon and then the weekend after that there is a Renaissance Write-A-Thon happening on YouTube and I thought now would be kind of the perfect time to kind of take a minute, sit down, and go over some things that may help you out. It should go without saying that there is a certain amount of etiquette required for being on social media and for being in a live chat. So I just wanted to go over some do's and don'ts just in case you're not sure what may or may not help you as far as making friends in chats and with hosts and amongst one another. As I said, there's a little bit of social etiquette into this as well. Um, the thing to remember is always don't do things to others that you wouldn't want done to you. Kind of the grand rule of life in general, but I feel like it can't be said enough. So let's start with live chats. The main thing that I want to express in a live chat is not to spam the chat stream with the same question over and over again. When the chat is moving really fast, if you continuously ask the same question, it just makes the chat go faster, which buries everyone else's comments and questions as well. So give it a minute, ask again. Uh, a lot of times the host will be answering a question and they'll see your question, but they're going to answer finish answering the question that they're on before they go to the next question. So give everybody a minute, make sure that they really did miss your question, and they will try to answer if you have brought up something that is important to the topic of conversation. Which brings me to, if you have a random question that doesn't pertain to the current topic, you might want to consider um, going to like Twitter or Instagram or sending the person who is a host a direct message. That may be a better place for that kind of a question. If you are trying to make friends in the chat, make sure that you're memorable. If you want the host to remember who you are and if you want the other guests to remember who you are, Tell them something fun about yourself. Tell everybody something interesting about you that you think makes you stand out. It's it's hard to remember everyone um, when you're just going based off of sometimes a picture and a name and, and a little bit of a personality. But if you don't put your personality out there, it's kind of hard to connect the things together. And some of us are really good at that. Like, uh, Cache is great at remembering the most minute detail about people, and I love her for that. But the rest of us, not so great, especially me, not so great. I find that live chats are also a really good place to mention um, if you have a channel. There's some things we're going to talk about later where you don't necessarily mention that you have a channel and to broadcast yourself and to promote yourself. But I feel like a chat definitely is that place because you're having a conversation. If your channel is similar to the live stream that you're on, say, you know, if you are on a live stream that is hosting sprints and you host sprints on your channel, that's a great place for you to say, hey, I also host sprints on my channel. Maybe, you know, or if you have a specific time that you do those, you can always say that or just say, randomly whenever and if people are looking for more sprints they'll go to your channel and they'll be like yeah they do sprints cool so I'm going to subscribe to them so I can catch when they do sprints or if you post specific content about how to solve a Rubik's Cube in three minutes I don't know what if that's a good time a bad time I don't know I've never solved a Rubik's Cube so three minutes would be good for me but my point is, is if the topic of conversation involves you or your channel this is a great place to promote your channel versus some other places that we're going to talk about in the future. But again, don't spam it, just promote it. Comment sections. This is not the place to promote your channel. This is for commenting on the topic of the video. It is okay to do things that will continue the conversation. So say the conversation is about the fantasy genre and how you feel like women are overlooked in adult fantasy. And so that person, that's what that person's video is about. And so you would in the comments say, I agree with points A through C, but I thought that D was this. And I talk about that some in my video. And that's how you can continue the conversation while also promoting yourself. That's one way to do it. 
I, it's not good to just come right. I will, I don't know if everyone else is like this, but I have heard other larger creators say it. And I'm kind of the same way is if you just come to my channel and just put in subscribe to my channel in the little chat, I just delete that. So I'm not subscribing to your channel. I'm not clicking on your channel. I'm not going to it. I'm just hitting the delete button and moving on because I feel like that's all about you and not about me. And I don't want everything to be all about me, but I would like it to be about the conversation that I'm trying to have with you, not just about you, if that makes sense. And if you're wanting to continue the conversation, you need to be friendly and give the creator something to go off of other than just great video, because that's a conversation killer. That's like, that's what you say at the end of the conversation, not to start the conversation. So it's kind of hard for us to know what to go off of if you're just like, great video. Um, just something to keep in mind. We talked about possibly sending a direct message or a DM earlier. So let's talk about those. Don't be mad if a person doesn't respond immediately. A lot of us are taking breaks away from social media, especially right now. So we may not have seen your question yet. We may not have seen your comment yet. Whatever it is that you sent, we probably haven't seen your message yet if we haven't answered it. Um, time zones are a real thing and sleep is important. So if you're not sure if that person's in your time zone or not, or maybe they're in your time zone, but they have a different work schedule than you. So they're asleep when you're awake, you know, give people a minute. It's not going to be an automatic response. Um, and always remember to keep these comments appropriate. If you wouldn't want someone to ask you that, then don't ask it of someone else. Personal boundaries, people. It's a real thing. If you have a weird but appropriate question, um, AMAs or ask me anything are a great way to get to know someone. So if you have an idea of things that you want to ask someone and you don't want to be intrusive, but you kind of want to know the answer, jot that down. A lot of creators, especially when they hit a round number, say 500, 5,000, 20,000 subscribers or followers or whatever social media platform you're on, they will do um, like a frequently asked questions or an AMA. So keep those things in mind if you have something you want to know. And that's always a great place to ask that because it's a place where they're opening up for the weird questions that you don't necessarily get every day. We're going to go into common courtesies here. I feel like this may not be needed, but also I've seen people say these kinds of things in comments. And I feel like those people are probably not the people that are watching this video, but I wish they would be. So. <laughs> We're just, we're just going to go with it. Okay. I realize that with vlogs and videos, creators are inviting you into their lives, but there are things that people want to keep private. So first off, if you're continuously asking the name of a person you see in our videos, whether it is a partner, a parent, a sibling, a someone or another, I don't care if it's their cat, if they are continuously referring to them by that placeholder rather than by their name don't continuously ask what it is if they wanted you to know the name they would tell it to you if the person has a pet that you see in their videos all the time and you don't see the pet for a while please don't ask if that pet has died if they haven't you'll see them soon and if they have and you haven't been told yet it's probably because the creator isn't ready to talk about it yet and that kind of goes for significant others as well. If you see someone with their partner a lot and then you don't see their partner anymore, don't ask if they've separated. If they haven't, you'll see their partner again soon. If they have and they haven't told you, they're probably not ready to talk about it. Some basic things to always remember. Words via text do not come across the same as they do in person. So whether it's a message from you or a message from the person you're contacting back to you. Words can be easily misconstrued via text as sarcasm and smiles don't transfer in written word, though there are emojis, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, people should be given the opportunity to express their meaning before words are taken out of context. So if someone says something and you think they're saying it in an offensive way, um, just based off of the text alone, maybe ask them to clarify before you go on a witch hunt. But I mean, maybe. Have fun. Make friends. This is kind of like kindergarten in a way, in that you are more likely to make friends with the people who start on the platform at the same time as you. 
more so than those who have been here for a while. It doesn't mean that it's not going to happen and that you won't make friends with people who have been here longer, but don't be put out if it doesn't. And like I said, it's kind of like kindergarten in that most kindergartners don't go into school trying to be best friends with 10th graders. It's not really what happens. And I think that especially in the couple of communities that I'm a part of, I think that you'll definitely find that there are friend groups and there there are people will call them cliques for lack of a better term. There are friend groups, but there's also outliers of those friend groups. Like I have a very close friend group that I have a private chat with. You all know who they are. I talk about them all the time, but I also have outliers of that friend group and I have people that I'm friends with. And some of them are people that have been on YouTube as long as I have or longer. And some are people that have only been around for a few months. And it really just depends on how you get along with people. But what you need to remember is that we don't all have bottomless wells of energy to pull from. And sometimes just one more friend to support and check on on a regular basis is enough to tip the well and leave it empty. And we have to be able to not necessarily tell someone no and be like, no, I don't want to be your friend. But sometimes we can't take on another person and it's nothing against you or against the person that we're not able to take on or to invite in. It's just that at this moment in time, uh, we need to focus on taking care of ourselves and the couple of people that we've already expressed our interest in taking, helping take care of. So just remember that this goes for you too. You need to take care of yourself. And if you feel like your friendship well is getting low, then, you know, maybe step away from a few people, not necessarily step away from a few people, but step away in general and be like, you know, I need to take some time for myself. Self-care is important and not spreading yourself too thin by trying to be best friends with everybody on the platform. This is maybe not the best decision, like maybe not be best friends with everybody on the platform. Take a breather. I'm not saying you can't be friends with everybody because I try to be friends with everybody, at least the people that I think I have things in common with and that I get along with when I talk to, but maybe take a minute. And yeah, I get it. This was probably more don'ts than do's, but I feel like just getting yourself out there and having fun and communicating with each other, I feel like that is the easy part. I feel like not knowing what not to do is the harder part. And so as we move into the next couple of weekends where there's a lot of things going on in the author tube world and in booktube as well, creator tube, whatever it is y'all want to call it. We're all here. It's all the same community. It's toxic at times. It is what it is. I think the important thing to remember is that I don't think there's anyone on any version of this platform in our community. I could be wrong, but I don't believe there's anyone that is out there maliciously trying to avoid you or not befriend you or ignore you. I think we just forget that there's a limit that people can get to and then they need to pull back in because they need to take care of themselves. So moving on to this weekend and for the next few weekends and however long through NaNoWriMo and what have you, go out, make friends, make friends with the people that you have things in common with and don't feel bad about maybe not getting along with a certain person or maybe not clicking with that person and not being the friend that they necessarily want you to be. It's okay to not get along with people. It's okay for everybody not to like everybody. I know that's not what people tell you. I know that people tell you that you need to be, I mean, yes, be kind and be respectful, but you don't have to give of yourself to everyone. It doesn't take anything to be kind. It does take a lot to be present for people. So, you know, pick those people and pick the amount of presentness that you can give without overwhelming yourself. I guess that's where I'm going with that. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please find me in the chat down below. That's what I'm here for. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book-related videos, Mondays, Wednesdays, bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.